mentioned just a minute ago that uh, where did the money go? <clears throat> My understanding is that the Democrats passed a second stimulus bill, but Republicans blocked it. How do you answer that? <laughs> no. That's a lie. Did they block it or did they want a certain amount of money and, and things going towards, uh, you know, basically the people in America? You know, there was a lot of other issues written in the stimulus bill. And, and really, the stimulus bill should be those that were affected by the coronavirus pandemic. No. Well, yes, but they blocked yeah. the bill. No, they didn't. We Maybe they to should sure. get with the program and realize in your party that people are needing the money right now and get off their high horse. I think I saw. So here's my question. Is there anything that you take issue with or that you find racist in what Trump has done in his life um, before or after the presidency? Uh, no, I don't. I, I find that President Trump has shown nothing but, you know, the, the opposite of racism. You know, each year, HBCUs had to go to Congress to ask for money. You know who made that permanent so they don't have to ask each year? That would be President Trump. You know who tackled prison, prison reform and criminal justice? The first step back, that would be President Trump. You know who's investing $75 billion into opportunity zones in cities that were neglected by Democrats? That would be President Trump. So I would say, and I know Sonny has said this before, when Alexandria Casey Cortez was on the show, you know, let's look at policy over personality. Um, and, and from what I could tell, the president's been doing a great job, especially for the black community. Come on, Kim. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to say something to you. Got him. He told Bob Woodward that it was a very serious issue and it's airborne and that it was terrible. And then he went out and told the American people, don't wear masks, it's all going to go away. You have to put some blame on your president. I'm sorry. You're putting it on something extraneous here. Talk to the point, please. Is this is this joy speaking? The, the same lies. joy, the same yes. joy that yes. paraded around in blackface not too long ago. Come on, Joy. I don't think you should be That's asking not these true. questions. I am. Excuse a me. Excuse me. The black community had my back. Oh. They know that the that black was community not has my face. back. That was an homage. Oh, please. The black Just community has my back. The black community well. has your back. The black yes. community has yes, your back. They do. Sonny, the yes. black community well, did Sonny not tell vote them. for you. Well, the black you community know what? did not vote for you. What it was during a special election. On? Sonny, can I speak? What it was during, are you living on? It was during a special wow. election while we were exactly. still under lockdown and wow. I could not wow. talk to people. Can I speak, or are you just going to scream over This me? becomes a big... Listen, Kim, good luck to you. Thanks to Kim Clark. That was very right immature, back. but Bye. thank you for having me. <laughs> wow, man. I mean, these women just cannot handle a black woman who doesn't comport to their ideological bubble, their idea of what a black woman should believe in. Oh, no, she must be a race traitor. Let's mock her and tear her down because she's not a communist. And let's not forget that Joy Bear was yet another left-winger in the media who had all kinds of praise for Fidel Castro's re-education camp reading program. Now we're going to get right into mocking the spew, but first give me just a minute to tell you about this special offer for my subscribers from this episode's sponsor, My Patriot Supply. When you see what's going on in our country right now, there's plenty to be concerned about. Social unrest is making life very uncomfortable and it could quickly get worse. These are realistic dangers, so don't let yourself be caught unprepared. Here's what to do right now. Go to www.preparewithdronetech.com and start building your emergency food supply today. The experts at My Patriot Supply are the only people I trust and use. And right now, you can save $100 off a full four-week supply of delicious, nutritious meals the whole family will love. My Patriot Supply makes it easy to be prepared at all times. And saving $100 off a life-saving four-week supply of food is too good to pass up. The second half of 2020 is gonna be wild. So go to preparewithdronetech.com and get ready right now. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Do it now. Other issues written in the stimulus bill and, and really the stimulus bill should be those that were affected by the coronavirus pandemic, no? Well, yes, but they blocked yeah. the bill. Be, well, we Maybe wanted they to make should sure get with the program and realize in your party that people are needing the money right now and get off their high horse. I think he's wrong. Okay, so first off, Joy Behar lies and claims that Republicans blocked this stimulus. It wasn't Republicans, it was Democrats who blocked it. 
Republicans had just slimmed down the bill for it, basically because Democrats had thrown in all these extra projects that they want to spend money on. It was a Democrat spending spree. So Republicans slimmed it down and put it forward. Guess what? Democrats blocked it because they want to be able to spend that money. So Joy Behar is just lying at her ass right off the bat. Is there anything that you take issue with or that you find racist in what Trump has done in his life um, before or after the presidency? Uh, no, I don't. I, I find yeah. that President Trump has shown nothing but, you know, the, the opposite of racism. You know, each year, HBCUs had to go to Congress to ask for money. You know who made that permanent so they don't have to ask each year? That would be President Trump. You know who tackled prison, prison reform and criminal justice? The first step back, that would be President Trump. You know who's investing $75 billion into opportunity zones in cities that were neglected by Democrats? That would be President Trump. She is absolutely right. The work that the Trump administration has done on justice reform has had actual real impact on the lives of black Americans. It's the greatest justice reform done in generations. Signed by Donald Trump and called the First Step Act. The First Step Act was a bipartisan criminal justice bill passed by the 115th Congress and signed by President Donald Trump in December of 2018. The First Step Act, among other changes, reforms federal prisons and sentencing laws in order to reduce recidivism decrease the federal inmate population and maintain public safety. Wow, that sounds exactly like what black Americans have been asking for for a long time. And guess who didn't do it? Bill Clinton or Barack Obama? You have to put some blame on your president. I'm sorry. You're putting it on something extraneous here. Talk to the point, please. Is this, is this Joy speaking? The guy the lied. Joy? The same yes. joy that yes. paraded around in blackface not too long ago. Come on, Joy. I don't think you should be That's asking not these true. questions. I am. Excuse a me. American. Excuse me. The black community had my back. They know that the that black was not blackface. Has my that back. was an homage. Oh, please, the just answer the question. Has my back the black as community well. has your back. The black yes. community has yes. your back. They do. Sonny, the yes. black community yes. did Sonny not vote for you. Well, the black you know community what? did not vote for you. What it planet was during are you a special living election. On? Sonny, can I speak? What planet was during, are you living on? It was during a special wow. election while we were exactly still please. under lockdown and wow. I could not wow. talk to people. Can I speak or are you just going to scream over me? This becomes a big... Listen, Kim, good luck to you. Thanks to Kim Clinton. That was very immature. So right off the bat, Joy Behar comes at this black GOP candidate, accusing her of not being with the rest of the black community. And she responds in kind by pointing out that Joy Behar actually wore blackface at one point. But of course, it's completely different when left-wingers do it, when liberals do it. And of course, all black people uh, formed behind Joy Behar and support supported her because when Joy Behar puts on blackface, it's an homage. I just love this idea that somehow the black community, like all black people, the hive mind of black people all got together and agreed that when Joy Behar did blackface, that it was okay. Anyway, just a sneak peek into the full throttle fire hose of bullshit that we're going to be subjected to for the next couple months. Make sure to catch it all right here where I watch it so you don't have to. If you like this video, just take a millisecond and hit that like button. While you're at it, you might as well subscribe and hit the bell notification while you're at it. If you would like to support this channel, check out all the options in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.